Hey, I'm B, and today I've decided to be absolutely ridiculously reckless and order an entire box of used returns from Target. Now, this box is so interesting to me because for the low, low price of $22, you can get 25 pounds of used goods. Nothing, Nothing I, I love, love more than old used stinky items from, from other, other people, people that, that they've, they've touched, touched in years before. Are you on drugs? So I actually found this website, it's called We Bargains, where you can buy returns from stores. Typically, when you return an item to a store, that store goes in like a damaged or returns bin and they don't put it back out on the shelves because they don't want to sell used merchandise that has been potentially open or used or is banged up to new customers. So instead of putting this in landfill or throwing it away, um, some store, we bargains has implemented the practice of just reselling it to other customers. A potential positive that I see from this video is perhaps spending $22 and getting a couple hundred dollars worth of merchandise and then reselling it on stores like eBay or Poshmark or Depop. I think it could be a good way to make some extra money. But a potential drawback that I'm immediately noticing is, is this stuff used? Is it old? Is it sellable? Is it usable? And what even is it? Like, is it gonna be a bunch of garbage? I am majestic trash. We Bargains is really interesting because they sell not only like small boxes, but also like entire pallets of stuff. And I was thinking about ordering an entire pallet of Target returns. So if this video gets to 15,000 thumbs up, I will order this entire pallet of Target returns and absolutely irritate the living shit out of my doorman for having to carry all of this up for me. <laughs> So they not only have Target, which is like the store that I'm most interested in as a uh, middle-aged white girl from America who likes Starbucks. Am I middle-aged? Oh God. Target is one of my favorite stores, so I decided to do Target, but they also have a lot of different ones like Amazon and other ones I can't remember. Uh, except for great sales on a good day. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna start with Target today, but in my next video, I'll show you used Amazon returns, which could be spicier because they have a lot more fun stuff on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the box. It's pretty small, it was really easy for me to carry out. Okay, so this is the box in all of its glory. It's a great 18 pounds. So it could be a little baby in here or a puppy, perhaps an iguana, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm really excited to open it. It sounds like there's plates in here. You know, could be breakable. I mean, is it all broken stuff? Is it stinky? Is it weird? I'm really excited to see. Also, this is like a fun little game. It's like a present, but you don't know what it is. So it's like Christmas, but weird. <laughs> okay, so I got the smallest knife in my kitchen. So I got the smallest knife in my kitchen. And I know you guys all love my knife skills. They're just excellent. Um, as a professional chef on YouTube, I'm just really good at it. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So far there's no smell and I'm upset because we all know I love the word stinky on my channel and I can't have clickbait unless that word is in it. <gasps> it's so much stuff. Oh my. Okay, this is, you guys are in for a treat today. So these are all the Target returns and I hope some of it's usable. If not, I'm gonna sell it or give it away or eat it. Oh my God, this is like wild actually. I'm like shocked. Now, I don't know if I'm tripping. Okay, so when you open the box, this is what it looks like from top to bottom. Immediately we see a toy, a towel, some shoes, a purse, a cup. I don't think it's anything that's like my style, although we do have a little cheetah print and I love a little cheetah print moment. So I'm excited to see like, I guess this bag was 29. Oh, this is from Salvation Army, excuse, excuse me? me. I thought this was Target Returns, bitch. What the hell? Okay, <laughs> let's see. I think it's gonna be all useless stuff, which is kind of like annoying. Cause like, this is Target? Yeah, I guess $44. Damn, someone returned these. And then like I have them. There's more cheetah in here. Do they know I've been obsessed with cheetah lately? Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna sit next to the box. I can hug it. <laughs> so the first thing we have in here is a lovely bath towel. I don't know how I feel about a returned bath towel. However, it does not seem used. So for the wet girl that I am, this is gonna come in very handy. This is definitely fruity. Then we have these interesting looking boots. I would not say these are my vibe. I don't know whose vibe these are. I feel like these remind me of like 2008 
scene kid or emo kid for some reason. A new style that I want to evolve into, which is an emo style. Like with a tight band tee and like a slicked back hairdo. So I'm gonna try these on with my outfit and let you guys know what I think. Oh, what size are they? That's interesting. Probably like a nine. Okay, so they, they like would fit me. Here we also have another pair of shoes. These are a size five. So I guess if you're doing Poshmark or eBay or something like that where you need a lot of products and you're selling them to make a profit, I feel like this is a really good thing to do. Perhaps I would buy wholesale boxes and then sell them on eBay. However, I'm not sure how well this stuff would sell, right? It's a size five pair of shoes, like cheetah print, low cut boots. Like, is someone looking for this? No. The other fashion piece we have here is this little bag from Salvation Army. I'm confused as to why this is in here. Same. But I'm not gonna ask any questions because I feel like don't ask questions that you're not ready to hear the answer to. It looks pretty new. But it's just got like kind of a deflated shape like I also feel like this is kind of an old piece of merchandise I haven't seen bags like this be trendy in a while, but Target is not always like on their trends Sometimes they do like more basic stuff and not like, you know more forward fashion, so. so that's kind of all the fashion pieces I see in here in terms of like toys I mean, I don't have a child now, but one day he will get to play with this wonderful power players Masco some toddler has definitely already slobbered on this, but I love the joys of children's cooties. Live, laugh, love. We also have this Jurassic World toy. It's a Velociraptor Delta. I don't know any dinosaurs, but today I got to learn one. Velociraptor. I feel like, okay, maybe you can buy these boxes and kind of like clean this stuff up and like gift them to people so you can have like gifts for all your friends for the whole year. I mean, I'm not saying they would remain your friends because these gifts are not good gifts, but they are gifts. Next thing we have in here is this shower bucket. Now this throws me back to my college days where I used to have a co-ed dorm and I had a roommate that I shared and we had like two twin beds and we used to have like co-ed shower situations and we used to have to bring like our shower stuff to the bathrooms every time we would have to shower and it was so much fun living with that many hot boys <laughs> but wow what a moment Not the old man, but... yeah this brings me back to those days and i just remember like how awkward it was like getting out of the shower in your little towel and like tiptoeing back with your little thing but everyone did it and it was like a cute little it was a really good bonding exercise too many jokes today this is interesting <laughs> this is a light bulb <laughs> This looks like a designer light bulb though. It looks like Jacques Miss made this light bulb. Um, if this light bulb was in New York Fashion Week for light bulbs, I, I would support the situation. This is such a specific thing. Like, I, 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 I don't even know how to change a light bulb, I'm gonna be honest. My dad tried to teach me like 10 times, but every time he talks, it just goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> so, nothing was ever really learned. I feel completely crushed right now. Here, another fun piece of equipment we have is, <laughs> So funny. What is this shit? Who buys this? Okay, this is a, I feel like this was a, what's called an impulse buy. Like some girl was at Target. She's having a fun little Target shopping spree and she's like, I need this cup. So this is an aluminum cup. The packaging is really dented and fucked up and it's also taped up so it looks like she opened it at home to check it out. I'm gonna violently open it from the bottom. Um, let's see. Okay, so, oh, it's multiple cups. Um, if anyone wants to come over and play beer pong this week, I have a table and now I have cups and these ones stay cold. So I will be the party thrower of my apartment building this week. I'm just kidding. Please don't come over. Um, the next interesting thing we have in here is this quality shower curtain that really fits the farm house chic vibe. I don't even have a use for a shower curtain. Like, what is this? Can you sell this online? How much do these go for? It's so funny how in Target everything looks so cute just because of their branding and their merchandising and the way they set things up. But when you get a box full of banged up packages, you're like, when is this ever cute to me? When was farmhouse chic even a vibe? So this is funny. The next thing in here is this wonderful iPhone case for the newest iPhone of 2020. It's a 5.4 inch case. And it's not a man, so it's not lying about the size. <laughs> what will you learn? That your actions have consequences! So, if anyone needs this phone case, it's a interesting black zebra print phone case. My guess is impulse purchase once again. Then we have a nice little set of three dinner plates. Egg-shaped Easter dinner, Easter, Easter lunch plates. They are kind of used up, I'm not gonna lie. There's like definitely marks on these. 
I don't think these would sell very well on anything. Not only are they egg shaped, but they're also like this weird yellow green color. Who did this? They are really thick and sturdy. They're from the brand called Threshold. Oh, it's a salad plate. Plot twist. We have a couple more like tech pieces in here. So this is exciting. Um, I have this armband for if I ever exercise and need to carry my phone. It's touchscreen compatible, adjustable band, and textile material. That's cool. I hate the color. It's absolutely atrocious. I don't know. I feel like this is for serious runners, and for some reason I can never see myself as one of those people. I always think I'm going to take up running. I download the Nike running app. I get all like ready. I get the little outfit. I put on my running shoes. I run outside of my building, and then I turn around and come back. It didn't work out the way we all thought it was. Because running sucks. <laughs> if you've ever ran, please tell me how and why you enjoy it, because I feel nothing towards it. People talk about exercise endorphins. I feel exercise regret from running. Another activity thing. I guess this um, box really wants me to work out. So this is an activity tracker. It sets alarms, keeps your data, and you can also get the app. This was $3. How is this $3? Where are they manufacturing this? It's kind of like an Apple Watch, but $3. It says that it can track your distance, calories burned, sleep daily and weekly, and monthly steps with the app. So like, why would I buy an Apple Watch when I can spend $3 and be equally as satisfied? This is interesting. I'm excited to see if this turns on. I'll try to show you some of this stuff like in B-roll and you guys can like laugh about it. The next thing we have in here is this unicorn tote purse. Can someone invite me out to a nightclub this week? I got a new bag to show off. Okay. It's felt and it, I feel like it's one of those things that's like in the you know, little section that's like one, three, and five dollars. Oh, I know what these are for. I think like when children have like Easter egg hunts or some like birthday holidays like that, they can fill these with like Easter eggs or you can make these into like little goodie bags. Remember when we used to be like in elementary school and our moms used to make goodie bags filled with candy and toys for the children? I feel like this is what this is for. Guys, don't worry. There's really useful stuff in here. Then we have this basket. It's just my style, $5. It's a surprise. I also think this is an Easter basket. It's really discombobulated and lopsided. It's a woven material, it looks like bamboo or like faux bamboo. It's in a beautiful red, pink, and beige color. It is an Easter basket. Okay, so I think I got an Easter box. And then finally, we have this thing. Um, Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So I would rate this box a 10 out of 10, because for the price compared to the stuff you got in it, it's really great stuff. However, is it stuff that I need? No. Who needs this stuff? I can see why all of this was returned. I don't know a situation where you would need or want most of this stuff. Oh, I guess the shower curtain. I feel like, what are these things? <laughs> what do I do with them now? Does anyone want a shower curtain, a cup, and a shower caddy, and a boot? <laughs> Wait, I'm going to put on all these out. I'm going to put on this whole outfit at the same time and like go somewhere. And you guys can guess where I would be going wearing all these items together. Okay, guys. So this is my completed Target return outfit. Um, I am going to go drink a beer in the shower with my person <laughs> shoes. Mental breakdown is impeding, imploding, impending, but at least we had fun. So if anyone needs me, I'll be having a shower of beer. Bye. <laughs> okay guys, so thank you so much for sitting through this really fun, obnoxious video. If you would like any of these products, feel free to message me on Instagram at Blair Walnuts or on TikTok at Blair Walnuts or on my phone number, which is 702-930-2436. And let me know which one of these items you'd like to keep. Um, I might send it to you for shits and giggles. Does anyone want used cups?